Welcome to Fayetteville, and whoo big Sue is. The Arkansas Razorbacks are ready to take the field. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the LSU Tigers, taking on another team from the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Razorbacks will kick it away to start us off. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Tigers' offense will take the first swing of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys. And it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. Off the RPO complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit of the time to get to that first down mark. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Stopped at the 46-yard line, but give him 10 yards and the first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. From the gun, the running back has it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Fires to the right. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. The give to the back. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The give is to Williams. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, LSU! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it 7-0. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and he found his way to the end zone from the 7 to cap it. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So Arkansas's offense has the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. And he's brought down after a nice game. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. It'll be a draw. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. 
And now on third down after that last run. He'll pull it on the read. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. As a defensive guy now, you're always zoomed in on the quarterback. I mean, these guys, they're, whether they're throwing the football or running it, at least they have the football in their hands every time. You know where they're going to be. You focus in. The defense locked and loaded, understand what they were trying to accomplish, doing a good job getting to the quarterback, and then make those physical hits count. Finish those, finish those tackles with aggressive hits. Make that quarterback feel you for a whole length of a game. Still running up the 40. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Feeling some heat. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. The number one job is to protect their quarterback. And they did not. They did not, but my number one job as a defensive lineman is to attack your quarterback and get him on the ground just like this, get in the sack, rattle this guy as much as you can, as many hits as possible on these quarterbacks. Big first down sack for the defense, brings up second down. Grabbed over the middle, it's Taylor. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And nice answer by this defense. You give up a big play, you go take a big play. Sometimes you get down on yourselves and one play turns to two. Nice job by this defense getting a sack, creating some momentum. this afternoon. Bringing it back, it's the Tegna. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get that lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Leaves it with the running back. Tackled after picking up the first down. The Razorbacks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. And the Razorbacks racing to the line in the hurry up. Now the play fake. Let's it fly deep downfield. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Top five teams duking it out right now, man, and check this out. Texas is down right now, but there is still a ton of football to be played. And for a program that ranks inside the top ten all-time in wins, don't be surprised if they come back. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Georgia. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this top five matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Got the big pause on it, but couldn't hang on. Instead, it'll be fourth down. But 
looks as if LSU will line up to put it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Slips through the line. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? They're going to ride this running back. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. This offense has a second down play. Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see if someone can get the edge in the second quarter. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Razorbacks are rolling down the field. The back goes in motion. Got his man on the outside. Fights off a defender. There's no getting around the fact that they have really scuffled in the first half of SEC play, but now the task is to try to turn it around. Well, and a lot of times it requires shifting your goals, and this is not how you want it to start, but how can we win this? Pulled it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. And this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. Lining up to add another. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. That drive covered 55 yards for the score. And the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Just a short pass to the tight end. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, then. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback knew he was in that pocket too long, but nowhere to go with the ball, and he takes the sack. Yeah, how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting him on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure off the quarterback. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. Running it back, it's Sategna. 
and he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last one. So this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Throws to the wideout. Holds it in. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. They'll run it from the gun. Across the 25, he's got room. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Razorbacks! Saw a crease, nothing but green grass and opportunity, and he flashed through it for six. And when you can get 30-plus yards out of your running back and he can make big plays like this, man, it's hard to call a lot of passes. I'm just going to feed this guy the rock. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he closed the deal by racing 35 yards to pay dirt. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He's going to run it. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Dropping back, it's Green. Working the middle, it's complete. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. And the Razorbacks will move the sticks with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the ground. He's got it again. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Wilson. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. They'll go with the five-wide outset on second and seven. He's looking to throw. It's complete to the left. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. New set of downs after that completion. The sweet feet buy a little time. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. 
He's right on target. Knocked down at the 34 after a pickup of five. It's a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. It's hot. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Stop me when you've heard this before. First down. First down. First down. Just continuing to put first downs together. So far, this defense I just can't find any answers. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. They'll throw it from the red zone. The short hands, it's Wilson. That completion will take him inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Getting some heat. Safe completion on the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Arkansas! They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So they got the touchdown and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. This play will be a big indication of whether this drive goes anywhere on second and long from the 11. Back to throw, it's green. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. On the run, still looking. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Razorbacks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Hand off from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Offense in an empty set. 
on third down going up top. Moves around to clear up the vision. He'll try to do it himself. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. And the Razorbacks are flying down the field. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Armstrong. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. On second down, he'll fire. Scrambling away. And stampeding through the defense. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. They'll give it to the back. Trying to pound their way forward, he picks up a couple to the 31. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Caught over the middle. It's Armstrong. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. He'll do it himself. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Just inside the red zone. First and 10 from the 19. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Armstrong. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. He's going to pass on second down. Starting to feel a little pressure. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. How about that Bayou Bengals defensive front showing some dominance? Booger McFarland, Marcus Spears liking their pressure. And that defensive line getting to the quarterback, and they got so many guys that we could name, like, like Spears um, that you just mentioned, like Booger in the past that put on that purple and gold, look good, big physical guys that fill out them uniforms and eat quarterbacks. Trying to get to him. And the Tigers, third down defense, just not getting it done. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Off the play fake on first down. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Now on second and goal. Trying to surge it in. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And the beatdown has ensued. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you gotta swing it back your way. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Michigan came through with a lunch pail, hard hat performance, and the end result is an eye-opening road victory. And it's not so much that they won, it's more how they won. And the fact this wasn't ever really in question. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Scanning the field, it's Nussmeyer. They're trying to get to it. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Going to try to get it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. 
Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Finds a tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They make the stop at the 37, but not before he's got 10 yards and the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Washington. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Got his man out of the backfield. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. That's the end of the quarter, and Arkansas has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Looking to throw, it's green. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. To the ground with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Washington. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. And he missed it. No good. Guys, after this dominating performance, I guess the head coach wanted to be able to yell at the special teams coordinator. LSU, seven. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. He wants to throw here on second down. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. The one thing I love about this defense, and they're showing it here in this game, is there's a variety of ways they can get after your quarterback. They can get home with four, they can get home with three, or they can blitz guys from all over the field. But they've got athletes with bad intentions, and they've registered a ton of sacks in this one. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And he can't make the connection on his first attempt. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's incomplete. The long pass downfield, they couldn't hook up. Two running backs alongside the quarterback. to throw it's green using his legs to buy some time good run on the play and he slides to avoid the hit the Razorbacks are threatening on first and goal they'll try to get it in with the run gets it inside the 10 picks up a yard they'll mark it at the nine defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play now a second and long coming He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. Touchdown, Arkansas! 
And the punishment has been extended. They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Yeah, and this offense has struggled all day. And how about the protection up front? You've got to protect your quarterback. You've got to keep him upright in his second sack of the day. Nice. A lot more passing situations coming with this team down big. Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. Back to throw. It's Collins. Snags it over the middle. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. Third down play from the gun. Pressure coming. He's going to take off. At the 45 on his way. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Coming after him. He'll pull it down and run. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. Looking to move it through the air. Now adjusting. Trying to escape and get it himself. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Let's see what they've got on second down. After the run, 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 now to throw. Got it. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. They'll try to run it in. And they get nothing. The ball remains at the two-yard line. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Running play to the left here, looking for the end zone. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. This game is almost certainly decided already, but the good news is for the next game, guys still flying around, still playing hard, not really hanging their heads. Long season. This is early in the season. Still got plenty of time. Still find out which plays you like, which you don't, and keep running them, keep getting better at them. So use this as practice. Getting set for the point after. Smashes it through for the PAT. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. From the shotgun, the inside give. Gets away from one, finds room. Open runway ahead. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. We've seen it from this running back, too. There's a lot of ways he can make you miss. Bottom line, this defense has to do a better job game tackle. Yeah, just hard to bring down. Just physical, run through people. This is a guy that defenses hate playing against. And you see why so many yards after contact. 
They just dialed up one big play. Let's see if they've got another one on first and 10 from the 35. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Showing off the arms. They knock him down inside the 30 at the 29. It's a pickup of six. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Here's the handoff. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And the Razorbacks looking to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got it past the marker. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. They'll try the run. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Well, how about this one? A fun one. These guys came in as underdogs, and they walk out as the winner. They didn't care they were unranked. That's not what they were worried about. All oh, this team's ranked. They weren't looking at them any different. They were looking to come in and get the W and execute. Great job believing they could come, Jesse, and knock them off. Yeah, you're right, David. This team came in with something to prove, and they knew they had a national audience that was going to be paying attention to this game. What a great job going out under the lights, big-time stage against a ranked opponent, and really putting their A game out there on the field. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.